I've really enjoyed the latest leg of our boat building journey. Here's where this episode's voyage has taken us. Welcome to part three. In the last video, we finished fitting the floorboards and coated the outside of the boat with epoxy resin. Next, I put some foam in here and fitted the foredeck. Then it was the turn of the cockpit footwell and the cockpit decks, which involved crawling underneath the decks to clean up the squeezed out epoxy resin. The seat back supports were wired in place, along with the rear cabin wall. And this is how I adjusted the angle for the rear cabin wall. These I did at the same time as putting wires through ready for the top sides being fitted. Not everything fitted perfectly at this point, so there was a lot of adjustment involved and standing back to check how everything looked. Here you can see I applied some tape to the sides of the boat to prevent epoxy resin running down the sides through the bigger gaps. And then it was time to fill it and reinforce the rear cabin wall, seat back supports and top sides. The holes for the temporary screws used to fit the cockpit deck were then filled with epoxy resin. Next it was time to fit these pieces of wood, the sheer clamps, which are curved pieces of wood that fit around the bow of the boat. It was a bit of a struggle to fit these because when they were covered in epoxy resin, not only had you to bend them into position, but uh, they were very slippery, so quite hard to clamp onto the sides of the boat. At the same time as fitting the shear clamps, I fitted two carlins, which will support the top of the deck. Then I fiberglassed the foredeck well, and took the fiberglass up the sides uh, for extra strength. The seat back frames were next to go in. I had to cut a bevel on the lower one to match the seat back frame slope on the inboard side. Following this, I fitted the transom skirt. Before fitting the seat backs, I put some more polystyrene and foam uh, to provide extra flotation. Next, it was time for the seat backs to go in. These have snazzy cutouts for storage. Once the shear clamps had set, I was able to fit the upper breast hook. There was a bit of a tussle involved in getting this into position because this would push out the sides of the bow slightly and form the shape of the front of the boat. The Dorada boxes were next to go in. These are for ventilation through into the cabin. And also, uh, I was able to put some mounting blocks inside of these and inside the seat backs for uh, mounting equipment later on. Then it was time to cut and fit some curved cleats which go inside the cabin and the Dorada boxes. Next, there was a lot of planing and sanding to prepare for the seat back decks and the cabin deck being fitted. While I was doing this, it rained really heavily and it reminded me a bit of Noah preparing for the coming floods. But thankfully, the sun came out again and allowed me to fit the seat back decks. After checking the fit of the main deck and drilling pilot holes for temporary screws, I added some epoxy resin to the top of the cleats and started to fit the deck. At this point, rain interrupted the work, so filming stopped and we had to move into the garage. But here's how it looks, now it's all glued on. Right, stop this messing about. There's work to do. Why am I wearing this?